Thousands of Israelis have crowded gas mask distribution facilities, readying for a potential conflict with Syria, according to local police. Officers had to be deployed to maintain order in the northern city of Haifa, where more than 5,000 people jostled in line as they waited for protective kits. The threat of reprisal attacks by Syria if the U.S. and its allies go ahead with a strike on the Assad regime has prompted large numbers of Israelis to seek out the free gas masks. A sports arena in Haifa was being used as a distribution center to accommodate the crowds, and hours of operation have been extended for the rush. There is, there is a panic because uh, the news is that there is going to be an imminent attack either sometime today or over the weekend, and uh, no one wants to be caught without a mask. Some Israelis, however, were critical of the queues. I don't think that it should be only one uh, spot where uh, masks are being distributed. For over a million people in the area, I think they should have uh, provided at least 10 uh, different spots. But some beachgoers in Tel Aviv, which is farther south, did not seem so concerned. Well, I'm very philosophical about these issues and uh, I can't really change. Well. Life goes on, everything is cool, the ocean is waiting for us, and uh, gas masks can wait. We have them at home, but life goes on. Despite the panic in parts of Israel, a strike by the United States on the Syrian regime as punishment for a suspected chemical weapons attack on civilians seems unlikely. While UN inspectors are still in the country, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has said they will be leaving Syria on Saturday.